So the theme of this podcast is doing more with less. Let's talk about what I mean by that. So this is oftentimes the case with many of our hair patients. And here's kind of the goal, if we were thinking about this from a pure mathematical sense. We want to do the most we can with the amount of hair we're able to work with. And for most of our patients, it's going to be a practical number you can do in a day. Um, Maybe you can do 2,000 grafts in a day, maybe a little bit more. Once you start going above that amount, I think the trauma, the time out of body, there's a whole multitude of issues why super mega cases sometimes are not the best results, especially when we've done those and looked at you know results of other doctors in the past. And I'll hear patients saying they've got 6,000 grafts in a day. First of all, there's not probably 6,000 years you can donate from. Uh, but that being said, uh, these mega sessions um, tend to be at best okay for patients. Um, and most of our patients don't want okay. So how do we do more with less? Um, well, the key is going to be thinking about the hair in pure mathematical terms. Pure, purely mathematically speaking, um, to treat the hair, there's a certain amount of surface area you need to cover. And if you did this, and we do this with our um, robot and artist planning, you'll see how much hair we actually need to cover. And if you measure the hair times by the surface area, you're going to come up with a number. And that number can be, um, you know, 27, 40 um, square cm that need to be covered. So the problem here is, how do you cover that with enough hairs? Uh, if you're looking at that, the number that needs to be covered there to get the density that patients want is going to be a tremendous number. Um, and so, what do we do? The solution we have is actually innovative and different. We actually remove skin. How do we do it? Uh, well, it's a combination of approaches. We use a micro punch. And the micro punch removes a small amount of skin each time or each spot we're going to be putting hair. Now, we can't do this in every spot and every place we're doing that. If there's if going in between the hairs and there's existing hairs and stuff like that, the micro punch in the, in the front of the hairline, we can't do that as well. Uh, but in areas where there's basically no hair, it's the best way. Instead of having to cover 24 square cm, we might now only have to cover 14 square cm, doing more with less. And with 2,000 grafts, I'm going to bet 2,000 grafts are going to look a lot better in 16 square cm than 4,000 out-of-body grafts trying to cover that other aspect. Um, And now for patients who need to do this maybe a second time if they really want to go with that, um, and if they need that, which is another another big if, it's going to be a much easier process for them if they need that second procedure. Um, and for the patient who does 4,000, almost always they're doing second procedures. So, interesting phenomena here, talking about treating patients, doing more, doing more with less, um, way less trauma for patients, able to cover more distances. And a lot about that is going to be about creating those sites, removing some of that skin, and making it mathematically more feasible for our patients.